Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows channel. And uh, basically, we're going to talk about a little bit of the uh, new little things that happened in the anniversary update as we um, insiders have the anniversary update build, which is 14.393. But there were some commutative updates and stuff that happened. So first of all, for those that still don't know, uh, and uh, I posted a full review of the anniversary update on the channel. Uh, basically, what we have as insiders, 14.393 is the anniversary update. This is what you see here. Uh, if you go in the Windows version, you can see that uh, we are at 14.393. Uh, point five with the latest cumulative updates. What happened? Uh, well, first of all, there's you know don't don't look for Microsoft telling you it's the official version. They're not saying it, but we know it is, as new new builds are being sent out. But more little fixes here and there. So what happened since the release of fourteen three nine three is mostly that there were some bug fixes. So if you uh, go into your Windows updates um, and check out your updates here. Check for updates. You'll see that there's a cumulative update if you haven't turned on your Insider machine. Uh, there's a cumulative update. Uh, and we had two since uh, last week. One on Friday with 14.393.3 and one today, uh, yesterday on 14.393.5. I wouldn't be surprised we have more. Uh, what was the fixes? Well, Basically, what these brought out are fixes to a few things that are uh, improved reliability and performance of Microsoft Edge. Also improved performance and reliability of Edge with AdBlock and LastPass extensions enabled. Um, so sometimes they would crash and that's what happened. And I didn't notice that bug. I didn't notice that sometimes it said that some of my extensions were broken and they had to reinstall. And uh, that is apparently fixed with this. Uh, fixed an issue where battery drain due to runaway CPU processes. Uh, you know, that could happen. Some code that has a problem and it's just running away and making your high CPU. So uh, it's uh, something that's fixed. Also fixed a battery life issue due to the proximity sensor always running on some devices. They fixed an issue where the store apps um, would stop launching due to licensing issues. They fix an issue where results in Windows updates being delayed on systems with connected standby. They also fix an issue where a Korean uh, language would not have the correct composition on some um, TSF3 edit controls on PC. They fix an issue where you might not be able to type uh, in text in the search you know, so, uh, or some store apps without having to restart the process. And finally, they fix an issue where keyboard input on some tablets, devices would not rotate correctly. So uh, these are, you know, really a few of the uh, things that happen here. So uh, two cumulative updates were sent. Of course, if you haven't updated your machine, uh, one of the things you need to know is that uh, cumulative updates are cumulative. So you'll have only one update. And that's the cool thing about it. Now we're a week away from this release of uh, Windows 10. Uh, insider preview and uh, or uh, anniversary update sorry so basically we're a week away from the big day and that's uh, you know time really flies when you think about it we're also in the last week of the anniversary update free Windows 10 upgrade so that is something that you might want to think about. If you haven't upgraded yet, you know, you've got a few days left to upgrade for free uh, if you wish to do so. Now, one one question that uh, somebody asked me, and, you know, it's, it's true that there's a certain nonsense here. Of course, people that upgrade this week will have, unfortunately, the big update next week, meaning that not only is it a big thing to upgrade today, they'll have something big next week also to do. And uh, it is true that there's a certain nonsense in here. Uh, but the thing is, and a lot of you have been telling me, why didn't they do this in uh, uh, in July before, you know? And, you know, look at the number. The number says version 1607, and there's a reason for that. It was scheduled to be released in July. 
the schedule meant that it would have been early July, even June at the beginning. But a lot of the new features weren't correct, weren't ready. There's a lot of bug fixes in there, and they pushed the dates slowly. And it finally, you know, came down to August 2nd. And what happens is they want to make sure that they are not messing up anything in here. And that's the thing. They really want to make sure they're not going to mess up anything. So basically, that's why it's now falling on August 2nd after. But it's true that it would have been nice before. It might have convinced some people to upgrade because they would have seen the new features and everything. Uh, so unfortunately, that's, uh, you know, one of the uh, little problems that arise here. But still, you know, you'll have an update next week and it's totally free, of course. Um, security improvements. Uh, a few websites were talking about security improvements in the new um, Windows 10 anniversary update. Uh, of course, with you know a few things happening, including one that's interesting, which is um, something that I read about the Windows Defender app. Now, of course, there's an icon of Windows Defender on your taskbar here. Now, when you um, have the visual of the uh, antivirus, but there's also something cool about this. They seem to have tweaked it. Um, from one, some reports that I've read, it seems that they've been able to tweak it in a way that your Windows Defender app will be running with your antivirus. You know, when you install your favorite antivirus, you'd see that the Windows Defender would actually be disabled. Well, it seems they tweaked it so that it doesn't happen. So that's going to be interesting to see if it works with every antivirus, or only a few. But it's uh, quite interesting in improvements. Of course, there are some security improvements at the core of Windows 10 and the anniversary update. I'll be checking that out a little more and uh, giving you details about this this week. And of course, we'll have more videos of anniversary update features uh, coming this week. One of the things that um, was interesting also that I was reading about is the um, millions. And uh, yes, you have read so millions of telemetry information and the millions of feedback that Microsoft receive because they are and they have received millions of uh, little feedback information from users and the telemetry apparently amounts to millions and millions of data information that help them tweak Windows understand a little more the usage that people make of Windows and also uh, help them fix and change some of the features and the stuff that Windows 10, uh, how, how it works. So it's really, really interesting and cool to see that. And you know, that's the same telemetry that privacy advocates been going crazy about saying, oh, there's too much information being sent to Microsoft. They know everything. They know nothing about you. They just know th things about usage about crashes about what they really need as basic information to know what windows 10 needs to be how it needs to be tweaked basically and um all of that is anonymous people don't you know people say yeah right D it's not they're just telling us it is it's totally anonymous they don't know from what mach what machine information comes from and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool when you think about it, all that information and everything that's been um, tweaked around the, uh, the operating system with that telemetry, the feedback. Uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, that's pretty much what I had to say. Uh, if you're an insider, get your latest cumulative updates. If you're not an insider, uh, well, check out more videos of anniversary update features coming up and everything. So you'll uh, have an idea of how it's changed Windows 10 and uh, how, you know, it's going to look as we all get on our regular machines. Uh, the anniversary update starting August 2nd, only a week away now. So I uh, hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and uh, hopefully you will continue watching our channel. 
If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, problems, anything you want to know, why not ask a question? It's always fun to have your feedback.